Welcome. I'm here. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to solve this by synthetic, or not synthetic, long division. So when doing a problem like this, the main important thing is we want to do the long division just like you learned long division back in the day. So I'll have 2x squared plus 0x plus 1 divides into 6x cubed plus 10x squared plus x. And let me make sure that's everything I have, plus 8. I thought there was an 8 there. OK. So what I'm going to do is when doing a problem like this, I want to make sure that you know, we need to understand when we're dividing, we're going to use placeholders. If I don't have a linear term and I have a high degree of 2, I need to make sure all my degrees are in there so I'm not losing any placeholders when I'm doing my division problem. And you'll see because when doing long division, you're going to only take your first term of your divisor and divide it into your dividend. However, once you find how many times it divides into part of your quotient, you're going to multiply that number times every single term in your divisor. And it's important that you have some number to placeholder so you don't get kind of lost off track. So let's take a look at it. 2x squared, does that divide into 6x cubed? Yes, it does. It goes in there 3x times. 3x times 2x gives me 6x cubed. 3x times 0x gives me 0x squared gives me 0x squared. So then, remember, once you're done, oh yeah, and then 3x times 1 is going to give me plus 3x. Now, the next thing I need to do, uh, we'll make it a positive sign, is remember, you've got to subtract one row from the next. So to do that, the easiest way I can tell you to do that is rewrite the next row, take a subtraction sign, and then put everything on the bottom in parentheses. All right, and then when you do this, make sure you say it out loud. 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, we know, is going to be 0x cubed, which will be 0. 10x squared minus 0x squared is actually going to give us 10x squared. And then x minus 3x will give us a negative 2x. I don't have a 0 there, so you could do 3x, or sorry, 8 minus 0. It's just going to give us an 8. OK, so now we go back again and we do it again. 2x squared divides into 10x squared. And that goes in there five times. So I'm going to write plus 5. Then I do 5 times 2x squared, which is 10x squared. 5 times 0x, which is again going to give us 0x. And 5 times 1, which is 5. Now again, we go to our subtraction mode. So I subtract. And again, remember to subtract. Let's use blue this time. I'm going to subtract the whole row. So I have 10x squared minus 10x squared, which is 0x squared, which is 0. Negative 2x minus 0x is just going to be negative 2x. And then 8 minus 5 is going to be plus 3. Now I look at it and I say, does 2x squared divide into negative 2x? And the answer is no. So therefore, I now have my remainder, just like the good old remainder that you had back in the day. So to finish off my problem, to write it as my quotient, I'm going to take my quotient plus the remainder, which is a negative 2x plus 3, all over my divisor, which I'm going to write as 2x squared plus 1. Now, I don't need to write this 0x because that was just a placeholder for me to do my synthetic division. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. By using long division, complete. Thanks.